kind of mentioned if you want to talk about it or talk about it, touch on it real quick. You said you're a first generation student, right? Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes. I didn't know that about you. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So like, yeah. What, so, go ahead. Oh, keep going. No, you're oh, good. So you can say. I'm sorry. So it's so, like what made you like awesome. First of all, congratulations on being a first generation graduate. So, Thanks. so yeah. So secondly, like what made you like want to pursue a bachelor's degree, like be the first generation graduate student? Like what like what made you want to do all that? Mm, definitely. So coming to college was hard because I did everything on my own. My mom is a disabled stroke patient. So she, she has a lot of like speech problems. Um, she's paralyzed on her right side. And so I never thought once in my whole entire life, I was going to college because my mom wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, luckily she got married and my stepdad takes really good care of her and they're happy. And he was like, Hey, you know, my senior early senior year or my junior, my senior summer before I became went into senior year, he was like, Hey, like, have you thought about colleges? And I was like, no, like, I'm probably going to enlist because I can't afford college. And he was like, enlist in what? I was like, I either want to, I was like, I really want to go into the army because, and I'll get, I'll, I'll come loop back around to it. I was like, but my dad was in the army. And so and he was like, well, he was like, if that's really what you want to do, then by all means, you can do it. He was like, but if not, you know, look into some colleges that you might be interested. In. And so I was like, okay, I went to go to tech. I toured. Um, I realized it wasn't a fit for me. I really didn't like the um, like big community. And they kept telling us like, you're just a number to these professors. You're going to be just a number. You're just a number here. You're just an, like, and yeah. Some of the stuff that they were talking about and i was like i don't want to be a number like i have a name you know yeah. i'm not i'm not stitch i'm not gonna be experiment 626 like yeah. i'm i'm a person i deserve to be known by my name and what i'm capable of doing so i was like i don't like that um I talked to an army recruiter and because i only did tech like i was like if tech's not for me i'm not doing it you know yeah. like kind of i had that mindset and that's kind of shitty right so, yeah. sorry, I don't know if I should be cussing like that. No, good. Talk that's freely. <laughs> okay, I was like, <laughs> yeah, talk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let it eat. And, I don't um, care. Okay. And um, so then I talked to an Army recruiter, and he was like, whenever we get closer, he goes, let's, um, you know, we, we, we sign about what you want to do. You need to take your test to see what your score is, to see what kind of job you can be doing, blah, blah, blah. I did all of that. I did all of it, Carter. I did all of it. And I literally was about to sign and fax papers over to my dad to sign off on uh, me getting enlisted. Well, then my mom had mentioned that I got into a wreck and I messed up my back and that I have a messed up back and stuff. And they were like, well, that kind of actually goes against, you know, what we allow when you're, you're first coming in. Like if you get hurt in the army, we cover it. But if you're hurt prior, like we're not going to cover it. So I'm over here just bawling my eyes out. So I was like, I don't like, I don't know what else I have in store for me, right? Like, co like college was not on the table. And so I was like, okay, whatever. I had like two more college days that I was able to use from high school. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go check WT. Like, I know it's close by. Like, I, I was like, I'm, but I'm sure I'm not going to go. Yeah. So we come to WT for, what do they call it? It's like a discover WT. Oh, yeah. yeah um it's on a saturday or whatever it's like that whole day type thing that wt did mm -hmm. so i came to i came to it i enjoyed it i had fun i liked it i was like this is not bad you know um but i didn't know what i wanted to do like i said i didn't know what i wanted to major in i didn't know what programs they had i didn't know anything so i was like yeah i was like i guess i can put in an application well i got accepted and i was able to pick a dorm room out and everything and I did it all by myself and I was like am I really going to college though like am I really going and I don't even know what I want to do with my life like I don't know if this is for like this is for real well it finally hit me because I had a panic attack in the middle of summer panicking <laughs> about what books I had to buy for my mm -hmm. first you know classes and and seeing how much they cost I was freaking out because I was like I don't have any money like i I don't I haven't started a job so I was like I don't know how I'm gonna do this I don't know how I'm gonna afford this well luckily I got financial aid I got scholarships you know and so I was like okay I can do this 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 and I did first semester I flew by with flying colors and I was like 
okay. And then it didn't, it didn't hit me until I did my first semester. And I was like, wait, I asked my mom, I said, mom, did you go to college? And she was like, no, she was like, cause well, back in the day, she was like, I just wanted to work and I already had you. She was like, I, I didn't want to go to college. And I was like, oh, okay. Then I asked my dad, I said, dad, you didn't go to college. Right. And he was like, no, I, he was like, he calls me junior. He was like, no, junior, I enlisted in the army. And I said, oh, okay. And then I was like, wait, so that makes me a first generation. And everybody was like, yeah, Gloria, like you're a first generation college student. And I was wow. like, wow, okay. <laughs> and that, that strived me to push even harder for my second semester. For sure. So, which was spring 2017. And I was like, I have to make straight A, I have to make A's and B's, A's and B's, A's and B's, no C's, no D's, no nothing. Like A's and B's, A's and B's and A's and B's. And that's what I did. And finally I realized, I was like, all right, I can do this. I can do this. Like, this is, this is new, not only to myself, but everybody that's in my family and around me. And I was like, and I have to, I was like, I don't want to just make myself proud. I have three younger sisters. I was like, I want to, I want to set the example for them. Like, I want them to know that if they don't want to go to college, don't go to college. If you want to go to college, except like expect great things from yourself because in college, that's who you find who you are, or you get to express who you are, or yeah. you realize like oh I might be interested in this but I'm really not interested in that like I thought I was you know it's it's a free world but you're also an adult and you get to make those decisions by yourself and what I always told myself too is like if I want to go to freaking Walmart right now and buy me a whole cake and eat it I damn well (laughs) sure will do that like you know what I mean like my my mom's not gonna tell me no I can't have that much sugar 